This video is about an introduction on how to target an iSCSI connection. I am Microsoft MCIP and today I'm going to show you how to crash course on iSCSI. Before I show you I want to talk to you about iSCSI. There are three main benefits. iSCSI gives you access to higher capacity over remote storage. A lot of servers have very limited internal storage. iSCSI is a easy way to connect another storage mechanism such as storage area network or even a remote storage hosted to access the internet. Another advantage is remote storage can be shared. If you are creating a failover cluster one of the requirements is that all the nodes on the cluster need to access the same centralized storage pool and this can be achieved through iSCSI. The last thing you need to know is IQN or iSCSI qualified name all this is an identifier, every iSCSI identifier has a IQN assigned to it and what it is used for provide iSCSI target with the IQN of the I I'm using an Amiga iSCSI store center 1 times 4 300 which is a SANS storage device I'm going to use this later to store the virtual machines on in VMware launch the iSCSI initiate software and what I need to do here is put the IP address of the target SANS then go quick connect and it's picked up my Amiga SANS storage device go OK check if it's discovered it This is the IQ end which you need if you want to target different devices. Auto configure on the volumes. And that's it. If we go to the computer management and we go to disk management, we see the graphical view of all our local attached disks and our SANS disks. The server sees them as local disks. The server see them as local disks, they are the same as the physical disk in the box. Click on bring the disk online. a new simple volume we go next we want to configure this as an NTFs I create a simple volume from my iSANS device this is what we're going to use for our virtual machines to store on from other machines we can connect up with the iSCSI target in the same way and they are the variable never have to format the hard drive again we only have to be brought up online. I've just downloaded this from Microsoft's website. I'm just clicked on it and I'm just going to install it. Next. Target should be listed on this start menu. Just to open it. This is what the target looks like. Now we have to iSCSI software installed. We have to now build a target. So to do that, go to iSCSI target and right click on create iSCSI target. You go now. You put a name in for the iSCSI target. Now you put in an IQN identifier. This is going to be the IQN of the iSCSI initiator that's going to be connecting to the target. You can have multiple IQNs to target if you need to. So you see we have created a target that is listed in the names field here. 
we still have to link the target to the resources. I'm going to the devices and I'm going to create a virtual hard drive and link this to the target. If you right click on there you go create a virtual hard disk. Here you put in mine's going to be storage.vhd Yeah, you put your, how much space you want to put in for the storage device. This is where you put the description. You click next. What you have to do now is you have to add this to the storage. And click next, finish. Now you can see the virtual disk listed here. Thank you for watching one of my videos.